Hello everyone, I'm so excited. It is Ben's day. I'm actually up early for once in my life. <laughs> it's it's kind of early. It's 8.45, it's not super early. Um, but I'm heading to the Goodwill outlet where I will dig for treasures and sell them online. And I'm really excited. That is, what is up with my eyeball? Okay, anyways, we're, we're good. Um, anyways, hi. My name is Danielle. I go by Busy Bee Thrifts. I am a full-time reseller. I am a mom to two little girls and I live in Washington and let's see what else. Um, I love thrifting a lot and I love sharing my finds with you guys. So if that is your jam, please like and subscribe. I do haul videos often and I show you what I am picking up to sell online for profit. This is what I do to make money for my family and I have been doing it for a long time. So join me. We're going to go to the Goodwill bins. We're going to find amazing things. I'm going to take you along with me and at the end of the video I will give you guys a haul of everything that I've picked up like always and kind of just share my finds. You guys are my, my thrifting friends. So we're gonna go get some coffee. We're gonna go get some food. We're gonna go to the bins. It's gonna be a great day. Let's go. Okay, we are here. We're all set to go. Let's head inside. It's kind of cleared out since I've been here. I've, I ate my breakfast and now like a ton of people left. I don't understand. The bins have been open for like an hour. How are people in and out of here in an hour? How do you do it? How does, how does anyone make that happen? When I enter the doors, I'm stuck here for hours and hours. I'm, I'm no longer on earth. I am just out floating into the abyss, but we are here. Let's go find some stuff. I'm really excited today for some reason. I just feel like it's going to be a good day. So fingers crossed. Let's do this thing. Let's see what we can find today. Recording, but this is my cart. It's pretty full. I think I've been here like two hours now. A lot of bread and butter, a lot of things I need to look up. I found two pair of Gramichi, so that's cool. Men's. Um, yeah, just a lot of random things I need to look up. Some free people, um, some Lululemon. So, so far, so good. Okay, here's the final cart. I have been so bad at recording today, you guys. I'm really sorry. I did find a Daisy Kingdom dress. I have been, I've actually found this exact style before and it sold for like 80. So this is a size eight though. The other one was like a 14. Um, so that's cool. Outdoor voices, it's okay, but I haven't sold their shorts before. Lululemon, some pants for me. Some kids, Aviva, some mother, that's cool. They do have some spots, so I don't know if I'm gonna get these. Maybe just sell as is. Some mini Bowden. I grabbed a lot of kids stuff I'm gonna try to take to a kids consignment store. And then you guys, this is the thing that is gonna make this whole trip, I think. I haven't even looked at these yet. I just saw the tag and I ran to my cart. Okay, it, it's so, like, needs to be washed, but do you see that? This is like a Taylor Swift, some sort of hoodie. And then I found another one. I think this is like the same, I think this is a reputation. They are both like really covered in hair and kind of gross. So I'll have to wash them, but these should do really well. Exciting. Okay, I'm finally done. It's like two o'clock, but look at all this stuff I found. Like two full Ikea bags. And then right before I left, sorry, there I am. I found some Picolinos. Can I record? I don't think I can. And then these are Miss Moo's. So some really good shoes on the way out. 
some half wingers and then how cute are these oh my gosh so cute um yes some pretty good stuff stay tuned for the haul okay we are back for a haul quite the haul i literally got the most shoes i've gotten in a long time i feel like i've been trying to get shoes at the bins but it just hasn't been working so i have a couple shoes here and then we will jump into the clothes so let's get into it. First up are these mini Melissa's. How cute are these? So these I do need to clean up, but the mini Melissa's or any of the Melissa shoes clean up really nicely with a magic eraser. So these, I'm hoping to get about 20 for these just because they are the Disney, Minnie and Mickey. I don't think I'm gonna save these for Hazel. I might, <laughs> I'm tempted, um, but there's those. And then I also found these, like you guys saw. So these are so cute. I do need to clean these up a little bit as well, but they're really not that bad. What size are they? They're size nine. <laughs> they're so cute. Probably only like 20 bucks for these two. Okay, next are these Tevas. These are an older style, I think, and I don't know how they're gonna do exactly, but I thought they were so cute because they have the sun and the moon, which is really trending right now, I guess you could say. So I'm hoping these do pretty good. I'm hoping 25. It's like the end of summer, so I need to get these listed right now. I do need to clean them up a bit too, so that kind of stinks. I don't want to be cleaning a bunch of shoes. And these are seven and a half, I think. I think, double check. Oh no, they're a women's nine. So good size. These might fit me, but I don't think I want those. Um, anyway, so 25 for those. These are a pair of Chacos. These are like a really pretty green color. And these are a women's size eight, probably 20, 25 for these ones. I need to get those up ASAP. These actually just sold um, yesterday, I believe. These are just some fit flops, little flip flops. They sold for 15, so not much, but that was quick sale. A couple days of those listed. I also sold the Miss Moons that you saw earlier. Those blue ones, those sold within like a day for 30 bucks. So that was nice. These are some Halflinger slippers. I don't know, they look fine. I think they're supposed to be dotted like that because it's not really, I thought maybe I needed to sweater shave them, but now that I'm looking at them, I think that's just their pattern. Um, they're in pretty good shape, probably, I don't know, maybe 20 for these, maybe 25. We've got these Picolinos, which is one of my favorite brands to find. I find them often at the bins, which is so nice. Um, these I have up for 55, I believe. This is a, a pretty popular style. They do have some wear to the toes. Um, and they are a size 41, so that's a 10 and a half. So hoping to get around that for those. And then two pairs of Crocs. I got these Mary Jane style Crocs. Some Crocs sell so good, and I, I just learned that probably like, I don't know, in my reselling career probably like six months ago that Crocs actually sell. <laughs> I had no idea before that. Um, they, they are light as a feather, so picking them up at the bins, it's super cheap, and then they sell for maybe $20, $25. And then these are the other Crocs cute little kind of flip-flop those ones probably about 20 25 for both of those so those were the shoes i think i yeah i only sold the miss moves so the other ones i haven't listed all of these yet i need to finish cleaning them and getting them listed um some other few accessories that I found. I found a Kipling bag, which I find pretty often at the bins. This one I'll probably get maybe like 15 to 20 for this one. But I, if they're clean and good shape and I don't have to do anything to them, then I always pick them up. Next is this pretty heavy duty pillowcase. <laughs> I don't know which brand this is, but I think it's affiliated with uh, Joanna Gaines. So the hearth and home line from Target. Lo, Lolai, Lolu, Loloi, who knows how to pronounce that, but it is like a cotton wool heavy duty pillowcase. Selfie Ray is honestly not the best on this, but I just thought it was so cute. I didn't want to leave it behind. Probably only get like 20, 15 to 20 for that. Okay, so now we're going to jump into clothes. Here's the Daisy Kingdom that I found. 
I've sold this exact style before, but it was a size 14 in girls. <laughs> How cute is this? It's missing one button. That's the only flaw. Um, other than that, it's in really good shape. No color fading or anything. It's so cute. Um, the size 14 that I sold, this was probably like two months ago. It sold so fast for, I think it was like 120. Um, but what I have noticed is the larger sizes, like 14, 16 and girls, they're the ones that are selling super quick overseas because people who are, you know, smaller frame built, they can fit into those sizes. So that's what's going on. Um, a more petite person can fit into a kid's 14, 16. Um, and those are the ones that I have found that sell the quickest. Mine I have up for 80, I think 90. Um, and this one's a size eight. So this is more of a little kid girls style. Um, I have a feeling it will still sell overseas, but um, always a fun find. I have found Daisy Kingdom dresses probably like five times so far and it's, I just love it. They're so fun and cute. Um, next are these Nike in association with Nocta. So this is the tag. Any sort of collab with Nike I'm picking up and I'm looking into. These, I guess, are a collab with Drake, the rapper, if you don't know who that is. Um, they're really cool. They are like on grailed and all that stuff. So more of a streetwear style. But this one, this pair is missing. There it is. So it said Nocta right there in these like rubbery letters and it's missing all of them except for the O. Um, so that is the only flaw on these guys. I have them up for 40, I believe, um, or no 50. I'm hoping to get around 40 for them. Next is an Athleta denim jacket. This is nice. It has like a button snap. It's like a stretchy jean jacket, super nice. Um, size medium. The only thing is that Originally, this had like a hood that you could snap into it. So it looked like you were wearing a hoodie with a jean jacket combo, which is a bummer because if those were together, I probably could have got, I know I could have gotten way more for this. Um, but selling it separately, I'm hoping to get around 20 for that. These were a great find. This is a Goldie. And these are a recycled leather pant. They are like soft like butter. <laughs> they're amazing. They're a size 30, so a great size. And they're like a wide leg, high rise wide leg. I'm hoping, I have these listed for like 120. Um, they are the recycled leather, which makes them more sought after. And because it's, you know, a straight leg high rise, great size. I'm hoping to get around that mark for them. Um, yeah, so this was an amazing, amazing find. Very excited about those. I found two pairs of Athleta wide leg pull on pants and one of these has sold already for, I think it was 20, I think 20. Um, sell through rate wasn't the best on this style. It's the Elation wide leg pant. Both were a size XL. They were in the same bin right next to each other. So one sold, I still have one left. Um, I think they are listed for $29.99. So I accepted an offer of 20. I think I showed this last time. I might have done that. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> okay, this is Astro World, which is Travis Scott. He's another rapper, um, artist. He, this is just his tour merch. I'm guessing, I think so. This is one that is not worth as much but some of his stuff really is worth quite a bit especially if it's like with cactus jack which is a really good brand this one is curated by cactus jack so but anyways this one's not worth as much as his other ones but this hoodie i have up for 40 i'm hoping to get around that mark for that and then here is a brand that i feel like we've all seen a million times <laughs> it's trist and I think this is more of a Y2K style, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. But this is an XL tie-dye, like, maxi skirt. It's so cute. Very comfy. Um, and the sell-through rate for this brand, the tie-dye maxi skirts, was actually super good. So I'm hoping to get around 20 25 for this. This is another great brand. And I didn't know that they made pants. So be on the lookout. 
um, for their skirts and their pants. I think they do dresses too, but it's rip skirt. Um, it's like a gauzy pant, this amazing green color. You can roll them up um, at the leg to make like a more of a cropped look. And they're just so cute. <laughs> I love them. They're so comfy and I think they, they're a large. So, um, these I have up for 50 just cause they're a more, this is a rare color that they have made. They have them still on their website, but it's just like a solid black. So the green is more sought after. I'm hoping to get around 40 or 50 for those. Their skirts do really well too, uh, especially the larger sizes. So, um, and the selfie rate is pretty good for those. I usually get pr like 30 for those. So that's nice. Next is Soft Surroundings. Um, this is a really cute jacket for fall and it's an XL. So it's like this houndstooth plaid. I think it's a wool blend. It is not, <laughs> it's a polyester blend, but it feels so soft and cozy and it has how many buttons? Or no, it's an open front, that's right. So it's an open front like blazer jacket. Let me see if I can give you guys a better view. How cute is that? I have it up for 40. I'm hoping to get around 25 to 30 for that. We've got some Varley leggings. This is their logo on the back. Um, I've heard about this brand, I think just through like Instagram and it doesn't quite do as well as I thought it would, but I still pick them up. I will probably only get like 15 to 20. If that sell through rate is not that good, I do not recommend picking this brand up at least in these leggings. I don't know about anything else that they do. Oh wait, Varley. I just picked up. Okay, I lied, scratch that. <laughs> their, their leggings don't do that well, but everything else that they make always run comps because I just picked up a sweater by them. I completely forgot. And their sweaters, hoodies, things like that do really well. Dur -dur -dur. I'm like, why does that brand sound so familiar? I literally just picked it up. Okay, we've got some mother shorts. The only thing is that these are stained, like I showed you guys. So they have red marks just right on the white right here. It's probably a color transfer from this stripe, I'm guessing, or somebody just stained their shorts. I still pick them up anyway. I don't know why I did that. They're size 28. Um, I just couldn't leave them behind because they're mother and you can't really tell. I think somebody would still like to wear them. It's super faint. I mean, it's there, but it's not anything super dramatic. Um, I think I have them up for 20, so I'm, I'm not expecting much, but I'm hoping that somebody will like them. These I just picked up because they are new a tag and the selfie rate is really good actually. So it's speak by thinks and these are like a bladder control. Uh, menstrual cycle underwear, <laughs> high rise, I think a, a 2XL or no, an XL high waisted. I have these up for 25. So maybe around 20 for those. Next, this adorable little Bowden jacket. It's too small for Marlo. So if anyone is looking for a cute little sweater, I think it's a 4T. It's a four to five. It has like the Sherpa lining and it has a cute little apple on the front. I have this one up for 25. I'm trying the, you know, more substantial Bowdoin brands on eBay first to see how they do because some of their dresses actually do sell pretty quickly and for a good amount. Um, if they sit for a while, then I will take everything to like a kid's consignment shop and just sell it there. So that is how that is going. Next is an Athleta. This is like a cute zip up long line hoodie, super long line. I forgot the name of this style, but it's pretty, a pretty popular one. I have mine up for 50. It's a medium if I didn't say that already. So I'm hoping to get around 50 for that. So this is a Nike tank. It's a size small. The only reason why I got it, I normally do not pick up things like this from Nike, but I just really loved this quote on the back. Fear of failure, fear of success, all these things, and then you just do it. Fear that you don't worry enough, just do it. <laughs> so I thought this was a great like little running tee, probably only 10 for that. This is a um, Under Armour, the ISO Chill Polo, which has a great sell through rate. So this one I'm hoping to get about 25. It's an XL, 
really good condition. What else do we have here? Okay, this is a cute little free people top. What size? Size small. It's so cute. Look at this. It's got like the the tie at the front and it has like an open back. Long like balloon sleeves, sheer floral. It's perfect. I think I have this one up for 30, so that is so cute. This, I'm not sure how quick this will sell. It's Evo Shield. This is like a baseball hoodie, like a lightweight pullover hoodie shirt. Um, I got it just because it's basically brand new and it's a large. I will probably get like 15 to 20 for that. Next, we've got Harajuku Mini, which I don't know if this is going to sell at all. This is just the Gwen Stefani Target collab. Um, I just thought this was so cute. <laughs> <laughs> try to sell it maybe like 10 bucks for this um i thought the sell-through rate was better for that brand but it is not this was an exciting one this is my first time finding this brand i i could barely read what the tag said but it has this little okay and then underneath it says outer known which is a great brand i have this one up for i think 30. it's a men's like linen blend button-up shirt Great size. I think it's a, yep, it's a large. So exciting find there. I've been, that's been on my bucket list for probably a couple months now. Um, some airy leggings, which I was skeptical to pick these up, but they did sell within like a week. So they are a medium long and they are like the legging, um, the jogger style leggings. They sold for like 15, so not a ton, but they're in really great condition. That's why I picked them up. Um, if they had any sort of wear to them, I definitely would have left them behind, but those were good. Next, we have a pair of Orvis, which I have never picked up, but the sell-through rate for this style was pretty good. And then they're a 38 by 30. I forgot the name of the style, but it does have item number on the tag. You can always search for um, and it will pull up the exact style. That way you're putting it in your listing for people who are looking um, on eBay. Um, so yeah, these I'm hoping to get about 25. Really good condition. Just a pair of like men's nylon pants. Okay, we are down to the last two. Thank you guys so much for watching if you've made it this far. Quite the bins haul. This is so random. <laughs> so random. Where's the tag even? Um, little little kitschy stuff like this I always run comps on them because a lot of them end up being like a lag and look brand or people who veer towards that style this is what they are picking up and buying and this retailed for like two hundred dollars <laughs> it is a rain jacket um not a, it's not even a rain it's a cape there we go it's a rain cape so a hooded cape and it has these this print and it's reversible and let me find the tag. I think it's Galleria. Hold the phone. <laughs> there we go. Galleria Enterprises. So there's that. Um, Selfie Ray is honestly not the best. So I don't recommend necessarily picking this brand up. I just wanted to give it a try because it was so lightweight and it's really like, I don't know. It just would be really good for fall, spring, etc. This, I think I have up for 30 and it has a watcher already. So that's a good sign. It's not just sitting there with nobody, you know, having their eyes on it. So we will see how that does. And lastly, I have a pair of Hannah Anderson Christmas pajamas, size 14. I was able to find the top and the bottom. Like that is super rare at the bins. And I had to get them because Christmas will be here any day now, which is crazy. I'm already like preparing I have been preparing for fall and buying all those things and trying to veer away from, you know, looking at the dresses or the shorts or anything like that, the sandals, when I do go to the thrift stores, because I know that those things are just going to start falling off. You know, people aren't going to be looking for those. So prepare for fall and winter. It is coming and it'll be really good. A really good Q4. So that is the haul for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. It has been like the craziest summer. We've just been so busy. Obviously, I just had a baby. I need to give myself like some slack, but I do miss um, like making YouTube videos for you guys. And I know I wasn't that consistent with it 
even when I was pregnant, but I'm really hoping to get some sort of routine where I'm at least putting one video out a week for you guys and just sharing my finds because I, I do be thrifting. I'm thrifting, I'm just not sharing what I'm finding. So anyways, if you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. You are the real MVP. Um, hit the like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I will see you guys on the next one. I hope you're having a great day, a great like end of summer and I hope it finishes off strong for you guys. I hope sales are picking up. It is time for sales to pick up, right? Okay, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.